Hello everybody, I'm Radrani and welcome to Zoom Speak Easy. You know, right now, what is the most amazing thing is that Punjabi music has taken over the world. And it's the best thing ever because it's the most happy vibe. And we are here again here to celebrate another Punjabi artist who is making us so proud globally, of course, talking about Chani. Hello. Thank you for doing Hello. this. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having us, the whole team, everybody that's watching. Thank you, guys. You know, it's so exciting, like I said, the evolution and the growth of Punjabi music globally is fantastic. You know, today we see what uh, artists like Diljeet and AP have been able to do. We we just yeah. saw sold out stadiums uh, yeah. in in different parts of the world by Diljeet yeah. and uh, everybody pouring in, you know. So I For would sure. like to know your thoughts on it. No, it's also, honestly, it's amazing to see that, like, growing up, we know that Punjabi music was something that we would listen to, especially us, growing, I grew up in Canada myself, so Punjabi music was something we would get to hear at parties or, like, on the TV here and there, and, like, we always used to imagine, like, if one day it would be at the level of, like, a global language, like, how, example, hip-hop was growing up, and uh, so growing up, Punjabi music was cool. But it wasn't really at the scale that we always wanted it to be at. No, I finally feel like Punjabi music has gone to that level where it's actually the, how you mentioned selling out stadiums and like being played everywhere. So it feels amazing. It's good for the culture. It's good for the language. Absolutely. You've been writing for a while. You know, you grew up in yes. Surrey, but I think what you say is that the desi of the country has never been And for sure. like your songs. For sure. um, yeah. you, while you were born in Surrey, I want to I want to understand how that story began for you uh, and why yeah. were you so adamant in the fact that I want to make sure that I use hate Punjabi in my songs yeah. and make sure I stick to it. Sometimes my Punjabi is so hate, they don't think that they don't have any Canadian for it. Right? And uh, so like, yeah, <laughs> it's actually so funny because uh, being born outside, it was like, there was a little bit of the language barrier, but in my house growing up, everybody spoke Punjabi. So I was deeply connected to the roots. Like growing up, we would visit India regularly with my family. So meeting my relatives, going to my village in Punjab, I learned a lot of Punjabi. And I feel like that's what kind of shaped my career. And that being a part of my life, just the language, being around music a lot, um, it really helped me because it's funny because how you mentioned that, because when I met Dajit Paji, he said the funniest story to me in the studio one day. He's like, Paji, when we first started working with you, he's mentioning me. He's like, people thought that you get your songs written from somebody else. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, now I've seen you work in person. He's like, now I believe it, that you actually write, you write your own songs. <laughs> no, fantastic. You mentioned Diljit, so let's go there. Tell us about that meeting. I know a little bit of the story, but I'm sure you can give us a little details on it and how that collaboration started, right? Like, because you were already doing a lot of work with actually local Punjabi artists, which is fascinating in Surrey. And then yeah. you kind of went mainstream completely with, of course, the Jeet's collaboration and other things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mentioned this a lot of times before. It was, working with Jeet Paji was like a dream come true because I, I, I've watched all his movies. I, I used to go to all his concerts. And I was just like a fan in the background, like everybody else. And like, so even when I met him, I was like, yo, I, I have to make sure you know this, that this is so big for me, that like, I'm your biggest fan. So like, it, I never knew like one day I'd actually be able to work with him, sit in a studio. And like, I had a song that me and my partner did, Indrapal Moga, he's my brother. We worked together on all our songs. So we did a song called Umbrella and we had recorded it ourselves. And I have a friend in Surrey named Intense. He's done a lot of big songs. Um, a lot of them went really viral in India. Like he produced uh, Excuses by AP and he produced um, uh, Lover by Diljit. And uh, so big global hits. So um, I had a song that I'd done with him. It was called Umbrella. Uh, it's called. It's basically based on a double R flex. The hook line was like, uh, Phantom So we did that song and then uh, he played it for Diljit Paji. Diljit Paji was like, yo, like I really like this vibe. Um, it would be like, you know, something that I would want to do. So these guys called me. I was at home. They're like, oh, the Jeet Paji really likes your song. He's at the studio right now. And I was like, yo, you know, like, don't lie to me. Right? That I, Because they're my friends, you know? I thought they maybe just want to, like, they want me to order food for them or something. Right? I'm going to eat food. 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 
ਵੀ ਐ ਨਾ ਕਹੋ ਕਿ ਦਲਜੀਤ ਭਾਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਵੀ ਜਗਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਦੱਸੋ ਰਾਈ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਨੋ 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 ਟਰਸਟ ਇਟ ਟਰਸਟ ਇਟ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਮੈ ਵੀ ਮੈ ਪਾਜੀ ਐਟ ਦ ਸ਼ੂਟ ਵੀ ਡਿਡ ਦ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਗੋਟ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਬੀਨ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟਸ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਯਾ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਫੈਂਟਾਸਟਿਕ ਔਰ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਰੈਡੀ ਸਰ ਇਟਸ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮਲੀ ਫੌਂਡ ਆਫ ਦਿਲਜੀਤ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਕਾ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਕਰਤੀ ਹੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਪਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸਟ ਹਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਗੋਲਡ ਰਾਈਟ ਦਿਲਜੀਤ ਯਾ ਫੋਰ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਯਾ ਯਾ ਮੋਸਟ ਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਿਵ ਮੋਸਟ ਹਾਰਡ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਗਾਇ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਨ ਐਨੀ ਰੂਮ ਐਂਡ ਜਸਟ ਹਿਸ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਜਸਟ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਹਿਮ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਲੀ ਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਿਵ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅ ਦਿਲਜੀਤ ਕਨਸਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਹਰਡ ਹਿਮ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਸੈਟ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸੋਲਡ ਆਊਟ ਕਨਸਰਟਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਦਿਖਾ ਦਿਆ ਮੈਨੇ ਯਾ ਟਰੂ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਸੈਡ ਦੇ ਕਾਨਸੈਪ ਬਾਲੀਵੁੱਡ ਬਾਲੀਵੁੱਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਦਿਖਾ ਦਿਆ ਮੈਨੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਦ ਜਿਮੀ ਫੈਲਨ ਸ਼ੋ ਐਂਡ ਹੀਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਰੀਚਡ ਹਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਫॉर हिम ਟੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਾਈ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਸ ਆ ਦੇ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਸਫਰ ਸ਼ੋ ਵਾਈ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਥੈਟ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥੈਟ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਕੂਲ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਰੀਲੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਨਾਓ ਦੇ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਐਮਬ੍ਰੇਸਿੰਗ ਦ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਦ 뮤직 like people that that you know are in india like from india like yourself right that live there they know that punjab is such a small part of of such a big country so it's like when the language of that that small place has traveled through so far people really appreciate that they realize how far this language this culture has struggled to take it to that level so paji represents it cuz a guy from such a small village is being played in such big stadiums right so that's what he, he's trying to tell people the story of like how far we've become as as a culture as as a people so it's it's amazing to see that and you know it's funny like uh two years ago cuz i mentioned i messaged paji i congratulated him on the jimmy fallon thing um like two years ago we i remember we were in la and we were staying at like a airbnb together and we were working on music with dilip paji me and tense and like paji said two years ago he's like yaar sapna aaya hai ki then we apa jimmy fallon te jana and then i i messaged him the day it went down and i was like paji like you said this 2 years ago you did it and like i'm like it's cool to manifest that and make it happen amazing i mean hamare liye manifestation kar dena please tell him too because can you imagine saying that 2 years ago and he's there um yeah yeah can you have you manifested some things really massive and they've come true uh, because we all try to in some ways don't we I'm not really big on manifestation. I'm more like that. I, I'm always the opposite. I kind of hope for like the least, and then like when the most does happen, right? It <laughs> feels really good. Like for me, it's been more like I really want to do this. I really want to do that. But like, um, I feel like it, it, the work itself, like the Jeet Paji, I swear he has not taken a day off, right? <laughs> He's seven days a week, three hundred sixty-five days a year. So I feel like that was had more to do with the fact. than the manifestation right so mm-hmm. i feel like if if we're in the studios every day we're working we're plugging in and we're putting in like all the work that we can with all our heart then like who's to say you know the end of the possibility of us reaching it where we want to go right as long as the the hustle and the work match the manifestation i'm, I'm more big on that fair enough that's good as yeah. well i mean look at where you yeah. reached as well right yeah no for sure um, for sure Shani of course Daku is among your most streamed songs and it's yeah, yeah. loaded in a way that I'm sure yeah. you can't imagine how yeah. the you know the inception of that started how was that uh, and and then of course uh, reacting to how the song went yeah. crazy viral and I, I really the Daku's a funny story because I really feel like it's god sent um you're going to laugh okay so we did Daku and we originally it wasn't on the same composition it wasn't on a different beat right so we're driving to the music video shoot and it's good to have people in your life this story was the best example of that that aren't just like yes yes chakde chakde phatte bahut badhiya bahut badhiya right we're driving to the music video it's raining everybody's kind of dukhi in the car right it's really early and then we're playing the song and then i'm like yaar gaane da we're shoot we're going to shoot the music video and i'm like i said it out loud right i was like yaar gaane da swaad ja nahi aa reha hai na we gaana badhiya aaya music till aaya and i was like composition could be better too what do you guys think man right and everybody was kind of like yeah theek aa na like you know let's let's just do it see what happens right and
and he was the guy that was actually like yo bhai apna no swaad nahi aunda yaar bhi apna let's just shoot the video today but we won't do any lip syncs baad mein apna gana bhi change kar sakde ha right <laughs> so we shot the video with no syncs and then on the way home because my mind's always super fast just running 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 i'm like yo like we got to figure this out asap so we played a different beat and then moga pa ji was like i think i could sing on this one and you can speed up the composition so we tried that as gaddi gaddi vich jandya nahi oh hi phone te record kar liya and then after that we're like yaar badhiya lagda pa studio chaliye ajj hi chaliye right so the same night of the music video we went to the studio we re-recorded it and then we released the song in like another 2 months and then you're not going to believe it oh gana almost like one and a half year baad oh chalya inna so like india the which we got the most love like india and pakistan started putting up a lot of reels from daku right that term of daku that ek ji right that line and like it started trending a lot in india then after that like it was just like a global wave like after india a canada followed and like all over uk people started really listening to it and it took a year and a half to it to go super crazy and like i think 2023 it was a top 10 streamed songs of uh, spotify in india no i was like it was it was truly a blessing because like you know when something gets appreciated at that global level it really feels like you're doing something right and i feel like that song really changed our lives as in like you know every artist has that one dream to like really make like a super gold hit and that was it for us and it was like okay now we know ek bari ta ho gaya ha na right hopefully now we can imitate that and it's like thode a motivation aap di life nu mil gayi si from the most streamed song to a recent song that you've done facetime yeah um so, facetime honestly it was such a fun collaboration like uh, it was with miss pooja and she's been around so long in the punjabi industry working with so many artists she was like known in punjab when i was like in school time as like the duet queen so like if you wanted to make a hit song you had to go to miss pooja it was an era like that and um, so and the duet duet culture kind of disappeared for a little while but now it's really back in punjabi music like the duet culture so we made a duet on like a hip hop vibe but it was a truly like a folk style beat I'm sorry folk style composition and it was like um, a back and forth like she goes facetime chak mundeya and he goes oh nahi like bapu betha nal kind of thing right so it was a fun play off and it got a lot of love all over especially in punjab and india as well so it, it was really it was a fun track and that's the first one that we did uh, with our new collaboration with the 91 north records so it was really really good no I think it it is a truly fun song, but you know you just mentioned yeah, that uh, you know she's among the ones who've been there in the Punjabi music industry for a while, and you were uh, you know you were on Miss Children when you heard of the songs, right? Um, yeah. There must be many artists like that that has kind of shaped your taste of music, the way you look at uh, Punjabi songs from a while ago as well. Can you tell yeah. me your early inspirations and and some artists that you truly like? Uh growing up I I my biggest inspiration I'm not going to lie was uh Jazzy B. And uh Jazzy B jinne mera dil lutya Romeo bana ke munde rakhte cuz I feel like when we were growing up Jazzy started doing stuff that um was really like how do you say it like uh, ahead of his time right because we listened to 50 cent growing up hip hop music and Jazzy was bringing that music into Punjabi music so he was kind of the first one to like bridge the gap ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਯਾਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਉਹ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਰੈਪ ਸੌਂਗਸ ਦੇ ਗੁਰਬ ਯਾਰ ਆ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਗਾਣਾ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਔਨ ਅ ਰੈਪ ਬੀਟ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਫਰਸਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਹਿਮ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਯੂ ਕੇ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਟ ਫੈਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਬਾਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੈਟ ਕਲਚਰ ਹਿਪ ਹਾਪ ਕਲਚਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਅਮ ਹੀ ਗਿਵਨ ਸਚ ਬਿਗ ਹਿਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਅਪ ਵੀ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਸੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਸੁਪਰ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਬਾਈ ਜੈਜ਼ੀ ਬੀ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲੈਟ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਜ਼ ਆਰ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਟੂ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਟ ਐਕਸਕਲੂਸਿਵ ਵੀ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਲੌਕਡ ਇਨ ਵਿਦ ਜੈਜ਼ੀ ਬੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ So imagine that like we finally got a collaboration coming out with him soon. So that's going to be really exciting. I think that the child artist in you must be jumping with joy right now because Yeah. Someone... Yeah. It was such a big moment for sure because I I wanted to explain to Jazzy like how big of an inspiration he was mm-hmm. in my music and I was like you don't understand how big of a deal it is to finally work with you and I got to listen to so many cool stories but just sitting with him in the studio cuz I was like I asked him a question, right? I'm like, "Paji, I'm like, how how did you tell back in your day? Cuz you know, 
ਟੁਡੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖੀਦਾ ਆ ਉਹ YouTube ਚ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਆ Spotify ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਅਮੇ ਪਾਜੀ ਹਬ ਇਨ ਯੋਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਟੈਲ ਅ Song ਵਾਸ ਲਿੰਕ ਸੋ ਵੈਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਟੋਲ ਮੀ ਦਾ ਬੈਸਟ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਹੀ ਸੇਕ ਉਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੀ ਕੋਸ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਉਹ ਵੱਧ ਚੱਲ ਗਿਆ ਹੀ ਗੋਸ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਤੇ ਸੁਣ ਪਿਆ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਗੋਸ ਜੇ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਤੇ ਗਾਣਾ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਆ ਮਤਲਬ ਆ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਗਾਣਾ ਚੱਲ ਗਿਆ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਸ ਹੀ ਗੋਸ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਰੀਚ ਦ ਟਰੈਕਟਰਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਿਲੇਜਸ ਹੀਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੈਟ ਨਾਓ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਸੌਂਗ ਦੈਨ ਆਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਹਾਪੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਚਾਰਟਸ ਹਾਊ ਵੁਡ ਯੂ ਟੈਲ ਵਾਟ ਚਾਰਟਸ ਕਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਯੂ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਪੋ 뮤직 ਚਾਰਟਸ ਸਪੋਟੀਫਾਈ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਹਾਊ ਮੈਨੀ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਮਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਬੈਸਟ ਦ ਫਨੀਸਟ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਹੀ ਟੋਲਡ ਮੀ ਵਾਸ ਦੈਟ he goes we go to the the store that sells the tapes right odo tape back di si and he goes asi tape land jana par asi aap hi goes andar nahi jana he goes we'd send one of our friends and he goes one one ja ke kehna dukan wale nu he be like oh uh, tape phrao menu jehdi aaj kal chaldi ya then he goes if my friend bought my tape back he goes main samajh gaya ke main meri tape chal rahi hai he goes if he bought a different tape he goes main samajh gaya <laughs> so the question that i asked right before this question are you planning in india tour Yeah for sure for sure we're planning um uh, you know some exciting stuff real soon it's just like um i feel like now um after this the end of this year we'll be in more comfortable position we have um, a more bigger body of music out too um and then it'll be i feel like the perfect time for it okay i'm going to now come to my last segment which are quick fun questions and you can give like one liner for sure to them. Uh, for sure so chania are you ready Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. I think uh, I'm ready. Were... <laughs> I think you're ready. Listen, you've yeah. been giving fantastic confident answers and I love the conversation because you know, you're yeah. um, as authentic as it gets, so I love that. Thank oh, you. No respect, thank you. Okay. Like I said, fun questions are yeah. you ready? Let's do it. A rumor about yourself that makes you laugh. That I don't write my own songs. Is that that that's not true yeah that's the funniest rumor ever they think i have a guy in india we have a ongoing joke in our circle we like ek aadmi india ch rehnda oda na rinku a us to gaane lagaunda hai but that that happens with a lot of other uh, singers right like they say yeah, that they can't really yeah. gaana yeah yeah for sure so that's mine okay according to you which is one of your best written songs if you had to judge it Uh I would say Daku for sure for first one and then if I get to the second I really really been vibing to FaceTime um uh, because I think it's such a good back and forth really filled up song Okay who according to you has the most amazing vocals among the Punjabi artists today Uh Siddu Musiala for sure most powerful vocalist Because you said that can you tell me a few Siddu Musiala tracks that you personally i really play some of even like the under no i want to say underrated but like some of the songs like that aren't too boppy i really like uh the tibbe on the pot and i play a lot of um after tibbe on the pot i like the other song is do dead that ona nali benda jede sare nal bende ne right uh, that was one of my favorite tunes by him um and uh, especially like the re- other songs he did um one of them that came out after he passed uh SYL was one of my favorites uh, watch out right so yeah what are the funniest facts about diljit the songs that the world doesn't know funniest facts about diljit the songs the world doesn't know um honestly paaji's life is pretty out there so I'm trying to think about a fact that people don't know he's exactly like how you see him in like a movie or in his snapchat or in a video that's probably the funniest fact that once the camera's off he's still he's still that jolly and he's still that like that funny guy in the room it is and what funny fact actually wait this one uh funny fact about the jeet sanj i didn't know what airdrop was he taught me how to airdrop did you teach him how to do it no he taught me he taught me that's he a funny part he taught me he's like menu photo we took a picture and he goes menu photo page and i was like okay i sent it on whatsapp he's like oh yaar quality marti sari tu and i was like what do you mean and he goes air drop chala i'm like air drop what what the hell is air drop and then that's the day i learned how to air drop from him you this is yeah. amazing diljit diljit said he doesn't doesn't know how to book tickets and and a lot yeah. of basic stuff 
Yeah, yeah, yeah but he knows airdrop. I'm sorry? <laughs> and that's the funny thing. He doesn't know that, but he knew how to use airdrop. <laughs> I think he's updated himself. After, after Alexa conversation, I think he's pretty updated. For sure, for sure. Okay. What is one funny fact about you that the world doesn't know? Besides uh, funny, the airdrop. Funny fact about me the world doesn't know. Um, I... Okay, so this is actually yeah, this is kind of low key embarrassing, but I'll let you guys know. I can't, uh, I can't read or write Punjabi, so I write my songs in English, English Punjabi. Like you know how I would text you and be like "Kidda ji," and like you know English. That's how I write my songs. So when, when huh? someone gives me Punjabi lyrics or Punjabi instructions in Gurmukhi, then I have to pretend like I know what they're saying. Because yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to let them know because it's super embarrassing. We need a studio. <laughs> okay how much of auto tune is too much i feel like yo as long as it doesn't sound too computery and too glitchy um it's blessed cuz auto tune the reality is it's the new sound now okay so we have to work within it but i we always have a certain like you know like it still should sound human remix or original or remixes or original and tell me why i would say originals because I just feel like nothing hits as harder. It's like how it was authentically made, and we're all used to listening. And I feel like remixes sometimes they don't go as hard as the original. Okay, an international artist that you are really, really putting it out there to collaborate with. Oh, uh, international artists really putting it out there to collaborate with. Uh, on top of my head right now, I would say Central C. I really vibe with Central C, UK rapper. Okay. Are there any other hip hop artists that you really want to do that with as well? Um, I really listen to uh, Lil Durk a lot. Yeah, American That's... rapper. He's yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. An album that you think is extremely emotional for you in the in the recent times that you've done. Uh, emotional. I wouldn't say too emotional, but one album that I feel like we really put a lot of heart into was a plot. We did an EP called "The Plot." Me, Mogapaji, J Track. That one I feel like it has a lot of different vibes attached to it. And uh, the other album which has a lot of emotion that everybody should look out for is that uh, we have a tape that we're doing in the future. Um, with me and Japa Moga and Ar Paisley, my brother, mm -hmm. and he's done crazy collaborations with Sidhu as well. Um, with a lot of other Punjabi artists, he's done songs with AP Dillon, AP Dillon. Now, boss, Sona Gana, as you know, everybody's heard that one as well. So, AR Paisley, look out for that collab tape that we're dropping soon. It's going to be super exciting. Okay. What does it work for you? Antics on street, stage, like doing crazy things on stage. Uh, you know, like AP broke the guitar. Is that okay for you? And or is mm -hmm. that something you wouldn't do on stage? I'm super nervous on stage, so I probably wouldn't do that. You wouldn't. No. But have you always planned like when I go on stage, is there something like cool, like a gesture or something? Yeah, yeah, speak? that stuff for sure. Yeah, we know how to get the crowd going, but that's about it. We're still learning. We're still You're in the still learning, learning stages. Yeah. Okay. A Hindi film actor that you would want to collaborate with, as in the video, you'd want to feature them. Who would that act? Who would that actor be, and why? Yo, Salman Khan or Sanjay Dutt. I'm gonna pick two. You're a big fan. Yeah, Sanjay Dutt because I watched his like really gangster movies growing up, and I was like the biggest fan. So at them, you never know with all your manifestations coming true. This might as well. We are putting true it enough. out there. Putting it out there, yeah. Okay, one thing about the Punjabi music industry that needs to change for helping the whole industry. I feel like that we should really get together more, collaborate more, and like it will be just bigger for the culture. Yeah. And um, because you see rap music, you have like four or five guys on one song, and like just massive collaborations like that. And I feel like Punjabi music, like we're really pushing for it. A lot of artists are as well, but it's mm -hmm. not there yet. And I feel like that that would really be cool if we can adapt that kind of culture. The collab culture is there, but it's not as big as it should be. If you had to pick any of your favorite songs and dedicate it to someone in uh, the Punjabi film industry or Hindi film industry or any other Indian film industry, who would that be and why? Um, I would dedicate... Uh, let me think now. 
I would dedicate uh, one of our songs, FaceTime. I dedicated to my friend Sukha from Toronto. Uh, he's okay. a new Punjabi artist. He's done Atasle. He's killing it right now. Yeah. Um, I probably dedicate that song to him because me and him probably video call at least like once, twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> but also an actor. I said any actor from the Indian film industry can be from Punjabi uh, industry, Hindi, South. Punjabi. Uh, maybe I would say Amy Burk. Is that a good Amy Burk for FaceTime. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I love that. Asking you about the fact that. You've lived your life as authentically, right? But but sometimes in this conversation, uh, you mentioned Amy. He's also spoken about the fact that sometimes you want to keep your whole uh, aspect and your personal life so private, which includes how he explains why he didn't want to take talk about the marriage that he's in, and you know, Ruji and a lot of other others don't do that. Um, how do you look at this conversation? Because you're pretty out there, and you know you, yeah. you live as it is. Yeah, people. Some every, I guess every artist kind of moves differently in the sense of how much they want to put out there personally. My aspect is this: like I, I've always been growing up super out there, super outside. Yeah. Everybody knows everything about my life, so it's like I don't know any other way to live. So I feel like that's always been a part of me. And um, and I feel like everybody kind of saw me like um, like growing up and like I've been like um, you know, like my life's kind of been really out there, like you mentioned. So it's like that's kind of all I know, you know, like, and I feel like that's just who I am genuinely, right? Like if my mom's making like curry chol, then I'm gonna Snapchat her making curry chol kind of thing, right? Like it's like how like my family is is really like they're loving in a sense that they've kind of adapted to it as well. Like they've been like that from day one as well. Um. So yeah, that that's that's how like I feel like my my own values are on that, which is fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Annie. It was wonderful. Mm. Thank you for being so honest and like I said, authentic. Mm. Um. Yeah. No, for sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. It really feels like it was time flew by. Of course. Thank you. I'm gonna hold you up for that. You said you're doing a concert in India, and I'm sure. That we'll hear about it soon. So I need all the details very soon. For sure, for, for sure. No, no, for sure. Thank you. 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 Thank you.